the last 24 hours in the Bitcoin price have been absolutely explosive. You can see what happened with this huge candle in terms of price action. We actually moved roughly within about 24 hours from around 26,900 and we actually got a huge peak of uh, potentially we broke the $30,000 level on the Bitcoin price. So guys, what I'm going to do in this video is we have some absolutely critical updates that you do need to know in the crypto market. So what happened here and in Importantly, this is giving us a signal about what else is to come with the cryptocurrency market. So this is looking extremely exciting. We've also got some other explosive news happening in the Middle East. We'll touch on plus the crypto prices, altcoin prices at the end. So if you guys enjoy the updates, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. Let's get into the video. So in the last 24 hours, the crypto market did surge upwards. You guys can see there was actually a massive green candle right here. Bit of an anomaly, but what actually happened in the crypto market? Why did the crypto prices go up right here? So what happens in the crypto market is Cointelegraph, which is a big crypto news publisher. They actually got something very, very wrong right here. So you can see the tweet they put out over on Twitter. It says here, breaking the SEC approves iShares Bitcoin spot ETF they did actually edit this as well so they put in the reportedly here but people have picked up they edited it and, and then they ended up deleting it that was my understanding uh, from what happened here but coin telegraph basically uh, came out potentially publishing some large fake news in the crypto space and this was echoed almost immediately amongst the crypto community over on Twitter you had youtubers talking about the Bitcoin ETF getting approved by BlackRock but unfortunately this was actually fake news so so they have done a big article here but they basically go into the details about you know how an employee didn't follow policy on the tweet but what actually happened as a result of this you can see uh, that actually did pump up significantly the price of Bitcoin and then on top of that a lot of people actually got liquidated so if that people had large amounts of leverage in the crypto space you can see right here from watch guru Justin 65 million dollars BTC liquidated within minutes following fake reports that BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF was approved okay so people are getting liquidated in the futures market right there but despite this I actually want to tell you guys why this is bullish because we actually are seeing continuously price of Bitcoin uh, push up right now so despite that news not being a reality in the market right now uh, you know the BlackRock CEO is still extremely bullish on the Bitcoin spot ETF and this is just a prelude so this pump right here is a prelude to the market reaction when we do get the news so I actually think it's going to be even more bullish uh, once we do get the news because again this is speculation this is people just buying it off speculation uh, of that but once we actually get the real demand coming in for the Bitcoin ETFs from Larry Fink and we're going to have a listen to what he says right here about Bitcoin this is going to be extremely bullish because the price won't only be based on speculation guys so the big for the so the BlackRock ETF the iShares ETF comes in you know the whole purpose of this is they have to go into the market they have to literally buy up bitcoin and that is what's going to drive up the price of bitcoin potentially and that is why i'm staying extremely bullish but let's listen in to what larry fink has to say about crypto right now let's play this this rally is way beyond the rumor i think the the rally today is about a flight to quality with all the you know all the issues around the israeli war now um global terrorism and I think there's more people running into a fight, the quality, whether that is in treasuries, gold or crypto, depending on how you think about it. And I believe crypto will play that type of role as a flight to quality. So they are some extremely bullish words coming out of Larry Fing. And you have to understand this guy's one of the most powerful people in the world. He has so much assets under control in the trillions, BlackRock. And he is saying crypto, you know, it's a flight to quality. So Bitcoin is quality. Other crypto projects are being quality. Uh, looking to be quality. And again, you know, what we might see in the future is, you know, this Bitcoin ETF come online for Bitcoin but there might be other ETFs as well. So you might see Ethereum ETF, potentially see an XRP ETF, you know, Cardano ETF, more and more ETFs coming on in the future. But that is something to definitely consider. And I think you guys tuning into this video, you're tuning in at the right time. So you don't want to be, you don't want to be in the market after, you know, BlackRock sends it upwards. You want to be in the market before it happens. And guys, give yourselves a thumbs up on the video if you are listening into this before this big institutional money comes in. In regards to BNB, so I want to shout out BNB, guys. I'm a big fan. 
sound of BNB right here on the channel. Check out this massive burn coming in for this cryptocurrency. So Binance completes the 25th quarterly BNB burn. 2.14 million BNB has been burnt. And uh, this is looking bullish. So again, we are seeing more BNB getting destroyed out of the ecosystem. And in crypto, that's actually a good thing. So you want to see more and more of this. And uh, CZA of Binance doing the right thing. BNB crypto doing the right thing. Despite what's happening with Binance, what you have to also understand right now in my opinion, holistically, me viewing the market, I think, you know, they're trying to uh, stifle Binance. You can see right here, Binance will ex will stop accepting new UK users right now. Again, this is more political. So I reckon they're making way for, uh, you know, potentially maybe a big Wall Street backed crypto exchange because we do know, you know, that big money potentially coming into the crypto market. They don't want they don't want CZ to be king. They don't want Binance to be king. They want a new crypto exchange to be king. And in the meantime, if you guys want to support the channel, get your hands on some free bonuses if you're into trading as well you can get up to one thousand uh, dollars mexi bonus up to three thousand two hundred on qcoin as well so make sure to check out the links right here to these crypto exchanges mexi my understanding is you don't have to do a kyc for this crypto exchange so very very helpful if you don't like the whole kyc process qcoin you got a kyc now though but there's some great crypto exchanges to pick up some nice altcoin gems i also want to remind you crypto gaming is huge so 2.3 billion dollars of investments into crypto gaming and i might do some more deep dives into some good quality crypto games we check out new altcoins all the time but i think it's a very exciting area of crypto and again if you get a game people want to play paired with tokenomics paired with crypto you know it's got a huge huge amount of potential but 2.3 billion dollars worth of investments into crypto games in 2023 and to be aware of as well i just want to put that out there because sometimes these big macro geopolitical things can impact the crypto market so have a look at this 2000 troops potentially going to get deployed to the Middle East right now. So things are actually escalating in the Middle East right now. Factor this in, Janet Yellen says US can absolutely afford another war, but uh, US national debt tells a different story. So you can see the US national debt climbing up right now. And uh, yeah, they can fund it. They can fund another war, but you're gonna have to pay for it through inflation. So again, if you're going to the shops, the oil price is going up, groceries are going up. Again, it's called the inflation tax. So the US can afford it potentially, but it's gonna come through the form of inflation. But just watch out for these geopolitical unrest. And the good thing about crypto is, you know, Bitcoin, crypto, Larry Fink said it, you know, it could be seen as a bit of a safe haven flight during these volatile times in the, in the market right now. So he literally said that in his clip, crypto flight to quality right there. And if we actually jump over to the crypto prices today, things are actually looking quite bullish. So again, we are seeing this ascent in the Bitcoin price. So things are looking up. Things are pumping upwards right here. This is bringing up the rest of the crypto market. We want to see this continue to climb. We want to see that $30,000 uh, get retested again. That would be great. Right now, trading around $28,000, $27,000 in the crypto market. Altcoins are looking nice today. And you do have a look at the last 24 hours. Things are looking exciting. So a lot of money pouring into Bitcoin, up 4.3%. The altcoins are rising on this. So XRP up 1.5%. Solana pumping 9.8%. So I've highlighted Solana as a potential gem, guys. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. Uh, Solana right there. Shiba Inu up 1.7%. Casper up 2.3%. And uh, Terra Classic up 0.5%. But guys, that is a massive update on the crypto market. That's exactly what you guys needed to know in the crypto market today. If you guys enjoy the updates, you can subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want some free bonuses on crypto exchanges, check out the links to Qcoin Maxi in the description of this video. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.